A big baby was born at the safari park Saturday, a 125-pound southern white rhino. He's now out and about in his habitat, staying close to his mother, Holly, and learning to balance on his big feet. Holly has not had a calf before, so genetically this calf is very valuable to the population. Zoo scientist Christopher Tubbs is part of the team that's been working for eight years to solve reproductive problems among captive-born southern white rhinos. The five-day-old calf may represent success. Hi, Holly. Two years ago, researchers removed phytoestrogen-producing plants from the rhino's diet on the suspicion that chemical was causing fertility problems. One year later, Holly got pregnant for the first time in 10 years. Scientifically, it's, it's been, we think, a little bit of a breakthrough for us and, and might give us some ideas on, on how we can adjust diets here and at other institutions to hopefully increase fertility of the North American population as a whole. Poaching has been on the rise with 1,400 southern white rhinos killed in South Africa last year alone. With only 18,000 left in the wild, the zoo estimates the rhinos could be extinct within 15 years. Now more than ever, we need a healthy, a healthy population of rhinos outside of Africa. The new calf is the 95th southern white rhino born at the safari park. He can be viewed from the park's Africa tram or caravan safaris. Katie Shulev, KPBS News.